Hi, everybody. It is Kathy. And I love to be selling sellers. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Let's talk. And while you're settling in, let me know that you can hear me. Let me know how your weather is. I am wearing my sunglasses <laughs> because it is sunny here in New York City. And I am so, so, so glad to see the sun. I figured I would celebrate by wearing sunglasses. And these, oh, here we are on the side. If you can't tell, <laughs> these are eBay aviators. I actually got these at eBay Open um, a couple years ago and still have them. So I figured I would celebrate. So feel free to put your sunglasses on too if it's nice and sunny where you are. But come on in, come on in, come on in. And we are talking, oh, it's changing again on eBay. Another reason to wear the sunglasses because it reminds me about the change in seasons. But come on in, I'm gonna get these off so you can see me. And let me know how everybody's doing, how are you? And while you're settling in, I will introduce myself. If you don't know me, I'm Kathy Terrell, and I'm a top, whoop, these are all crooked, aren't they? Whoop, there we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm a top rated seller on eBay. I've been selling on eBay. They are crooked. I think I just got to take them off. Um, I'm a top rated seller on eBay. I'm selling on eBay for over 15 years. Um, I started small. I started as a very casual seller. If you don't know, my situation was I was selling on QVC at the time. I'm in New York City. And my mom got sick. Hey, Karen. Oh, cloudy and cold in Ohio. Ooh, I have to put a hoodie on. Um, but sunshine's coming your way. Um, I was a part-time seller. I needed to come home. So I was uh, working as a product presenter on QVC in Westchester, Pennsylvania, commuting from New York. And my mother got quite ill. So I left QVC and um, returned home to New York City. I'd been commuting. Um, and I needed something that was home-based. I needed a home-based business. And honestly, just started selling very casually from around my home, um, divesting, decluttering, which a lot of us do when we're starting uh, selling on eBay. And um, it was perfect. It was some extra income for my family. Um, my husband was extremely supportive about my leaving QVC and focusing on taking care of mom, but it created some extra income. It decluttered our home and it gave me the flexibility that I needed um, at that time in my life. And it was perfect. And what I found was I loved selling on eBay. Then after my mom passed, what I did was I scaled because I had the six years of QVC online selling experience. And if you don't know anything about QVC, you're, you're presenting a product. Oh, back to my sunglasses. You're presenting a product. I'll put them on. You're presenting a product. You're selling a product to people on TV that they can't touch or smell, if you think about it, they sell perfumes on QVC or taste because they sell a lot of food on QVC. So I learned a lot of selling skills from being on QVC. I had also worked brick and mortar retail jobs here in New York City for over 25 years. So what I found was with all that brick and mortar experience and my QVC experience, it was like a perfect fit for eBay and I needed something home-based. So it was like, yay, grew my business. I'm trained as an eBay education specialist. Um, I do have the great honor at times to present with eBay um, on stages, you know, at e-commerce events. So I get to do that. So it is my joy. I'm an eBay sales and social media consultant to help sellers. And I help sellers of all sizes. I work with some very small sellers. I work with some huge sellers and I learn from everybody and I help everybody. What my specialty is, what I really like to focus in on is how to get your items to rank well in search. There's some wonderful people out there with lots of tips about what things to buy. And I do give some tips on that every now and then, but my real specialty is helping you to look at your eBay selling as a business and the business aspects to being an eBay seller and social media tips because social media very much helps your items to find shoppers, to have shoppers discover you, okay? So I'm here to help you with eBay search and to help your items to get discovered by shoppers because that way your item sells faster. It also can at times sell for a higher price. So you're gonna get your money back faster, yay, and a higher price, which is great. Hey, Bonnie, how are you? Sunny in California. Good, we're putting the sunglasses back on for Bonnie. So it's like, yay, California. And this is what got me thinking. Um, hi, Dale, hot and humid in Florida, I bet. Um, 
because of the changes happening on eBay, um, is that um, when you start selling on eBay, uh, when you're a very casual seller, um, everything is so new, right? No matter when you started selling on eBay, when you start selling on eBay, everything is very, very new. And you're learning everything and everything is, everything is different. Everything is new. It can be very, very challenging. So what I want to say to my newer sellers is when you're starting is to really keep it simple. There's so much information that comes at us and that when you are newer, um, even if you're more advanced seller, you might be coming in from brick and mortar, you might be coming in from another site, is still eBay is new to you. And even if you have Poshmark selling experience or you have Amazon selling experience, eBay is different. So you're going to want to learn it. So to really stay focused and you're going to want to stay focused on writing a really great listing with great pictures. And you're really going to want to focus on customer service. And once you really get that down, then you can get more into the nuances of eBay selling to work with a lot of things with the different promotions and promoted listings and to fine tune your social media. But when you're starting, you really want to focus on your listing. And as more experienced sellers, oftentimes, because when people come to me and they they might be having a tough time, is it's always about, I always go right, go back to the basics, go back to the listing. What does your listing look like? And you can think, oh yeah, I'm doing blah, 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 blah. And you drop something out and you don't even realize it because you've been doing it for so long. Okay. But I'm always about get back to that basic and really take a long, hard look at your listing. And that's why sometimes it can really help to have somebody else look at the listing because you just don't even see it yourself because you're used to what you do in a listing. I also encourage you as much as we love our eBay friends, sometimes it's better or more neutral third party and not necessarily your, your best friend to take a long, really thorough look at your listing and really take it apart for you. And this is when I wanna to talk to you about change. So for a new seller, everything has changed because everything is so new. And I think as experienced sellers, when you've been selling on eBay for a while, yes, there are changes that happen on the platform. Like right now, managed payments is being put into place for everybody. So there's changes like that that will happen when promoted listings came on the platform, which is eBay advertising. It's been on now for a couple of years. That was a big change for everybody. But the change I wanted to talk about today is the, the, um, the COVID pandemic in the United States and worldwide. And I'm bringing it up because um, this is May 5th, because we've been dealing with it now for, I'm in New York City, so we've been dealing with it for almost two months now, is it's changing. It's going to continue to change. And it's going to be different everywhere in the United States. And this is what's going to be a little bit of a challenge. And this is not to over-dramatize it nor is it to play it down. I see people sort of going in both directions, but to really look at it squarely and how does this impact us as sellers, okay? And this is a topic that needs to be addressed whether you're a very new seller, which is why I'm bringing it up, and a very advanced seller because it's very different implications. Different areas, and I'm not, I don't wanna get political on this, okay? different areas of the country are going to be under different restrictions. For instance, I'm in New York City. We have had a very high death rate in New York City. So common sense tells me I will probably have more restrictions on me than somebody in a state that has had less of an issue with COVID. And I'm going to pick my, I haven't looked at a map recently, but I'm going to you know, I'm thinking the Dakotas are probably in a much better state. I know Texas is opening up a bit, but there's going to be different restrictions. Now, I bring this up because we're going into a change of seasons. We're in spring, and I don't know about where you are, but here in New York, it's been a pretty chilly spring. We're in spring, and we're going into summer. Now, the interesting thing about dealing with COVID um, is that 
online sales have skyrocketed. I mean, they've just, they are through the roof in most categories. There are some categories that are soft, but for the most part with COVID, the sales are through the roof. Very simply because people are home, they're not out shopping, they're home. You know, if people ordered some online, now they're ordering everything online. If people never ordered online, in all likelihood, they are ordering online now. So online sales are through the roof in just about every category. This is what I want to caution you talking about change, okay? So at the beginning of COVID, you had a lot of people that, were, that all of a sudden they're working at home. So things like um, monitors and anything to do with computers and desks and desk pads and mouse pads, all flying out the door because all of a sudden people have home offices and everything to do with home offices, okay? You have kids at home. Um, here in New York, the kids are going to be home through the summer. It looks like May, probably schools will open up in the fall. Well, all of a sudden you've got kids at home. So you got a lot of homeschool things. You have things from schools, but you have the parents having to get a lot of stuff for the kids. So you've got kids at home, okay? Um, you, you've got all kinds of supplies that normally people would go out to buy, like maybe, uh, to the local supermarket. And now all of a sudden all the groceries are coming online. So all kinds of grocery items are selling. Okay. All kinds of homeschool items are selling. All kinds of home entertainment is selling, uh, puzzles and games and DVDs. All this stuff is selling casual clothing here. I've got my eBay t-shirt on casual clothing is selling because people are home. They're not having to dress up to go out. Now, interestingly enough for some businesses, I'm thinking more like sort of lawyers, accountant types, they have to be sort of executive from the waist up. So maybe a shirt with a collar, you know, maybe a suit, but from the waist down, they can do leggings and sweatpants and all that kind of thing. So these categories have exploded over the past month. Now couple that because I'm speaking to you as an eBay seller, Amazon Prime, which a lot of people use, has had major issues because so many people are ordering online. The things that people would normally order through Amazon Prime, I'm going to go back to my pen, maybe pens, water bottles, I'm making stuff up, water bottles, um, back to my sunglasses, my sunglasses. Um, I actually had a cell phone accessory I was ordering the other day. And I just, I flipped on Prime and it was two and a half weeks to get the cell phone accessory. Normally, especially being in New York, I'd probably have it in three days, two days. On eBay, it was six days and I ordered it on eBay. And this is not unusual. So all kinds of categories are selling really well on eBay because Amazon Prime is so backed up and so slow and typically they're very fast that a lot of people are like to heck with this, you know, let's hop over to eBay. <laughs> Yay for us. And, you know, check on that. So we're spring into summer. Businesses are slowly opening. Some people will be returning to work. So they will not be working from home. They will be in the office for part of the day. I mean, again, all of this is very up in the air. So that's what I'm saying. You got to really sort of watch what's going on in your area but you're also going to sort of have to keep an eye on what is going on nationally. Like in New York City, I think we're going to be pretty shut down for a while. Um, I'm fine, but it's just, it's, it's going to be pretty shut down for a while. Is keep an eye on things because we're going into summer. We're going into Mother's Day. Mother's Day is going to be like completely online this year. I mean, maybe you would have picked up a few things locally. I don't think people are going to be picking up anything locally. For instance, cards. I think cards are going to sell really well on the internet because people don't even want to like go to a corner drugstore and try and find a card. Okay. So going into summer, pool accessories, anything sort of outdoorsy because people are going to be in their pools. They're going to be swimming home and garden from what I understand because of all the planting people do and gardening and everything to do with their gardening with the you know the trowels and stuff that you need and the pots and the seeds and 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 then also things you'd want to decorate your patio with all of that is going to sell perhaps in the past they would have gone to a home depot or a lowe's and it's not that those stores won't be open and it's not that you can't shop them it's a very arduous process in most places to shop right now because you do need to, in fact, I've got this. So don't, I actually had a friend send this to me. Let me see if I can find it because you're going to get a kick out of it. Oh, here it is. Hang on. You're going to love this. 
Um, most places you need to wear a mask. Here in New York City, you can't even get into the store without a mask. My friend sent me this. Do you love this? <laughs> I have my COVID eBay mask. So thank you, Peggy. Um, I, I actually and I, I actually don't wear this because sometimes when I'm out, I'm doing some product sourcing and I don't want people to know that I'm an eBay seller. Um, so I don't wear anything that identifies me as a seller. That's a bonus tip for you. But I thought that was so sweet. Peggy made this for me. I'm going to put this on again. Isn't this fun? Um, but because of the need to wear masks, and at least here in New York, and I know a lot of places are doing it, um, because some stores are mandating that you wear a mask. I actually wear gloves, too, when I go out. Um, it, it's challenging to people and it can be scary to some people. And the other thing is it's very time consuming on Long Island, which is just nearby. You're standing on line for an hour and a half, two hours to get into the store because of social distancing, which I personally think is a good thing. I think it's good to social distance and wear the gloves and wear the mask, whatever we need to do to, um, to protect ourselves and protect our neighbors. I'm all for but what I'm saying is because of that, because it's an arduous process, because it's very time consuming, and for some people it's gonna scare them, okay? Is if I can get it online, if I can shop with, I'm looking at Louette, if I can shop with my friend Louette on eBay, if I can shop with Bonnie who sells wonderful auto parts in California, why am I standing online? I'm like, I'm not gonna stand online. Um, I went by Whole Foods here in New York City the other day. It was an hour to get into the store. I'm going to order online. So that's what I want to tell you is things that would normally, and this is why I'm doing research. I love therapy. I love research. It's going to be a little challenging because numbers you look at for last summer are not going to be accurate for this summer. And numbers that you look at for last May are not going to be accurate for this May. You really have to be live and look at numbers. And thankfully, Terapeak is very um, current right now, is look at numbers like for the last seven days. That's what you want to be looking at. So that's why I want to encourage you. If you have an eBay store, basic or higher, um, be using your Terapeak and really drilling down and looking at what is selling. If you don't have a store for my newer sellers, you can use advanced search. And I have a YouTube on my YouTube channel. It says, uh, watch this before you list, look at it. If you're not sure how to use advanced search and check, make sure it's selling. A lot of stuff that you wouldn't think would sell is going to be selling and stay on top of it. And my other thing I wanted to tell you as far as everything on eBay is changing is because stores will start opening up and some states will start opening up, and obviously this will all get better as we work through the summer into the fall and into the winter, is trends will change. So I want to caution you, for instance, back to masks. Thank you, Peggy. Is they're hot right now. The, the, the handmade ones like this where you can make them yourself, um, they were flying out the door on Etsy and they're legal to sell on eBay too. Just don't say they're medical. Don't make any claims is there's a glut on the market now. I mean, I haven't even taken a look at it because I don't sew, is you've got to watch it on stuff like that because something can get hot, 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 and then there's a glut or the margins get so tight because everybody's nickel and diming each other. It's just not worth it to do it. So keep an eye out. Um, outdoor home decor, I just think it's going to be absolutely huge because a lot of ways people traditionally buy, they're just not going to be doing they're going to be looking online for us. So really look at spring, summer items. Look at outdoor items. Still consider home entertainment, games and puzzles and all of that. But really be thinking outdoors. Be thinking Mother's Day. And then we're going to be going straight into Father's Day. Obviously, graduations. I think about all my friends. Their kids are graduating this year. Graduations and proms. Again, this is why it's so fascinating to be on social media, particularly Facebook. There's going to be a lot of virtual. That's what I'm seeing. People are having virtual cocktail parties. And, and I think we're going to see some maybe some virtual prom parties. And, and maybe the, the, the principals are going to be, um, you know, in a Zoom or something to the seniors. So, you know, the kids will be dressing up. We may not sell as many prom dresses or graduation dresses or outfits as we would in the past, but I think some will sell because I think some of the kids and everything are going to want to dress up. 
I'm seeing with families is that um, people are doing virtual birthday parties. So again, it's of course, it's not the same. And you probably wouldn't have as many people, um, like if you're having a, a fancier birthday party, um, dressing up or doing gifts. So it might just be half a dozen people getting together, you know, for the five-year-old's party or the 10-year-old's party. But they're still exchanging gifts. And again, because of the constraints going on right now in shopping, they're going to be buying from us. Because if I'm buying a gift for my niece who's nine years old, if I'm buying a gift, you know, for my husband, it's a lot easier to shop on eBay. So really keep your eyes out. Really be thinking like graduation gifts. People are going to be dressing up for proms and special events because they're going to have virtual events because in many areas we still need to social distance and in many areas you still can't do gatherings of more than five or six people. Um, I've actually sold a couple of wedding dresses recently, which I think is great. Again, because some areas, again, are more opened up or perhaps they're having the wedding outdoors. So it's a lot easier to social distance. And again, maybe it's only half a dozen people rather than if they had gotten married six or seven months ago, it would have been bigger. Um, Again, you got to realize people are really sort of feeling their way with all of this. And us as sellers, we're here to help our buyers. And that, that was the last point I wanted to make is, you know, people are stressed. And, and just to be as kind, and I know all of you are, because I'm looking at Dale, she's super kind. Bonnie, Brenda, Louette, Dorinda, you guys are all the best. Is be, Just be kind. <laughs> you know how it is. People are stressed and they get cranky. And they're worried. I had somebody today, they had ordered a gift for Mother's Day. Well, I love that that they ordered from me for the gift for Mother's Day. And the USPS tracking was like not the greatest. It was like, Ugh. and so I get a message, you know, where is my, <laughs> I ordered this for Mother's Day. Thankfully, Mother's Day isn't for a bit. I said, you know what, let me check on that for you. And I went to the USPS website. I put the tracking in and it wasn't updating. Hmm. So in, in case you don't know this, you can go on the USPS website, you put the tracking information in and then you request an update. And I put my email in. You can also look up the customer's email and put it in, but I don't, I just put my email in because that way I get the information what's happening to the package. I noticed today it was delivered. So I messaged my buyer and I said, I'm so sorry about the frustration with the USPS tracking. Your package was delivered today. And I just wanted to let you know. Well, they messaged me back and they thanked me. So I just wanted to say is just, yes, it's the USPS. And yes, the delivery confirmation is messed up. And yes, I could have told the customer to go on the USPS website and track it. But why not reach out to them? Why not? It, it took me... A minute to copy and because I know how to do it. It takes me a minute to copy and paste the tracking in. It takes me a minute to message them back. Thankfully, it hasn't happened to that many packages. <laughs> and it helped them. And it was a Mother's Day gift. And I'm sowing seed for all of us eBay sellers. Who do you think is going to remember about the wonderful seller on eBay that really took care of them? Who do you think is going to remember about the messages that I sent? And I really did care because I shop on the internet. I know what it's like and, and thank them for their business and let them know when the package arrived. Who do you think will perhaps say something to their friends? But you know, when I shopped on eBay, I had a little bit of a problem with, with something and the seller was the best and answered my questions and answered me immediately because we've all shopped places where we don't get answers or the answers take forever or the purse is really sort of abrasive. So be polite, be nice, take care of people. Because remember, this is millions of shoppers that are coming on eBay. And a lot of these people have never shopped on eBay before. And we can roll out the red carpet. So they come back and shop with us and they shop with our other eBay friends. And that's the other big wonderful change on eBay is all the new wonderful shoppers take really good care of them. So they keep coming back to us because we're shipping quickly. Yes, there are some glitches here and there, but for the most part right now, 
shipping, when I checked, I'm not kidding, the Prime was three weeks off Amazon. On eBay, it was seven days. And I think I actually got the item um, a day faster. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Okay, great. I have a free tip sheet for you. It is on Mother's Day gift giving because oftentimes people will say to me, um, God, I don't sell anything Mother's Day. You know, I don't, I don't sell like lingerie and I don't sell pretty nightgowns and I just don't sell anything that I really think is like a Mother's Day item. And what I say is you are not thinking outside the box because truly for Mother's Day, just about anything <laughs> is a Mother's Day gift because moms have a lot of different interests. So this is what I wanted to share with you is on my website, I love to be selling and you're gonna hop over there. I'm gonna show this to you. Now, if you're listening to me, you're just gonna go to my website. I love to be selling and you're gonna hover your mouse over free tips. And what you're looking for is what sells for Mother's Day. And this is my gift to you. This is over 10 pages of ideas of things that sell for Mother's Day. For instance, um, I mean, Mother's Day, but obviously clothing, clothing's a big one, and obviously kitchen, and obviously cookbooks, but home office things. If you were giving stuff to me, I love stuff for home office. I love journals. Where's my journal? I love journals. I'm a big journaler. I love to write. I love pretty journals. I love pretty note cards. Um, so pretty stationary, uh, table linens, napkins. I mean, all kinds of stuff sells for Mother's Day. Power tools sell for Mother's Day. And again, and this is where people get in trouble. They go, well, I would never want a power tool. I mean, I'm a mom and I would never want a power tool, but it's not about you. And I think this is what's what, what you got to sort of get ourselves out of the box. It's, but what would this other person like? What would another mother like? Mothers love crafts. They love power tools. They love stuff for the house, all kinds of things, and not just new. And that's why I want you to grab this tip sheet. One is, first of all, you've got all the great vintage stuff. So please, it's like a gazillion wonderful vintage, vintage things. The other thing with used is because a lot of moms are green and they love recycle, repurpose. So they're extremely blessed when you give them um, something that's used because it's not filling up a landfill. So hop over to my website. I love to be selling.com. You're gonna hover your mouse over free tips and grab what sells for Mother's Day, okay? Um, and feel free and tell friends to grab it too because let me tell you this year, it is gonna be an internet Mother's Day. This is the year Everyone is shopping online for Mother's Day. And why not have them be shopping with us, right? I'm Kathy, and I love to be selling. Bye-bye, everybody.